Well, many of us are trying to get out there and soak up that sunshine the best we can. These little guys don't seem to want to. They're all hiding in the shade at the current moment at the Maryland Zoo. That's kind of interesting there. The penguins having fun, though, out in the nicer weather. And checking out some of those temperatures. Currently, it is pretty nice out there. No doubt about it here. We're looking at already 50s being seen across the board through the mid-Atlantic and up into the northeast as well. 60s still, we're not quite there just yet, but with how quickly these temperatures have been rising already as we go into the early afternoon, Afternoon would not be surprised to see those temperatures reaching up to that 60 degree mark here shortly because we have no clouds to be seen. Plenty of sunshine to go around and we will keep that trend going the rest of the day today. It's part of the reason why we will warm up nicely, but eventually this storm system down to the south as well as this other storm system back off to the west. The combination of these two is going to increase our cloud cover starting tomorrow and then it is going to be pretty tough to get any sort of under filtered sunshine the rest of the week. But yeah, we zoom in a little closer. Not not a lot to worry about out there once again today as we've continued this amazing sunny trend from the weekend. And yep, we have another sunny afternoon on tap. But as far as those storm systems is concerned, we're going to get that coastal low pressure center to move close to the area first. That starts tomorrow. It'll create easterly winds. And of course, when that happens off the coastline, it brings in plenty of cloud cover and we'll see that around the area tomorrow. We should still remain dry, but then that western storm system starts to swing in on Wednesday and the combination of those two systems will lead to some isolated rain showers starting on Wednesday and we'll keep a daily rain chance in the forecast from then on toward the end of the week. So here we go again. We can see this coastal low. It's going to stay well offshore. We don't have to worry about any precipitation with this, but here comes that cloud cover again, increasing across the area tomorrow. I think it's going to be a little more overcast, even more so than what future track is showing here. That easterly wind is always something it has trouble picking up on, but we hold on to the clouds throughout the day tomorrow. And of course, at the same time, here comes that western storm system. It's going to be weakening as it pulls into the picture here, but again, it's still enough that it's going to produce light isolated rain showers across the board as we go into Wednesday. Shouldn't amount to much, but nonetheless, we are going to see that as we go toward the middle of the week and temperature wise again, it's going to be another warm and sunny afternoon with those highs well into the 60s with clouds increasing overnight tonight. It shouldn't get as chilly as it has been the last few nights we will mostly stay in the 40s, but tomorrow even with the cloud cover around it is still going to be pretty decently warm. Anyway, we're going to still make it into the upper 50s and lower 60s. There's that daily rain chance again in any day here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We can see a little bit of precip each and every day. And then we go into the weekend with much of the same.